Good evening again. It's the 30th of July, uh, 2024. Recording this from a very warm Norfolk in the UK. It's 30 degrees. It's about time we had some proper heat over here. We had a sort of fairly wet July for the last week has been 27, 28, 29, and today driving in the car we had a 30, 31, so um, it's pretty warm. So the video today I'm going to do, I uh, haven't done one for a couple of weeks, uh, the title will be PSA after the radiation, did it work? For those of you who know me um, and watched my previous vlogs, 53, my name is Neil Davison from Norfolk in the UK. We had the operation last year, last April, the prostatectomy, and throughout the last year the blood results uh, just crept up to the 0.2, which is known as a biochemical relapse. <coughs> so um, we were able to have the radiation. I had the radiation in April and May. Uh, we had 20 fractions every day for a month. And to be honest, um, I don't think you can prepare for the uh, fatigue afterwards. Um, I'll sit here now and said it did knock me for six. Got very tired very quickly and in some cases we were in bed by six seven o'clock at night um, if you're able to do that just I would do it your body needs the rest and it repairs uh, better overnight so um, but we're getting there now we are now eight weeks after <coughs> the last zap um, here in the UK, it might be different in different NHS trusts, but I was asked to do a PSA test last week and um, send that off. And also, those who know me know I do a private test as well. So, after the radiation finished in May, I was... 0 0.20 so say 0 20. we went back to latvia uh, for my partner's mother's funeral and two and a half weeks later we were 0 11 so it nearly halved <coughs> end of that week we were 0 0.09 so to me it was clearly working so we had another five, six weeks before last week's blood to see if it was working um, even further. So the way you have to remember the radiation works is it doesn't just zap the pieces and they go straight away. Anything you read or anything you are told um, the radiation puts the remaining microscopic parts of the prostate which are still floating around maybe in the prostate bed it sort of stuns them it puts them in a state of shock and they can't multiply they can't divide into two the dna is is, is killed and it just it just sits there so i think the way it works is the radiation will get rid of all the really small pieces first and hence why after two weeks it went from 0.20 down to 0.11. I think the stubborn pieces are there where they have you know they've, they've killed them and they will shrivel and eventually it could be weeks it could be months and in some cases it could be years before you reach your lowest um, score which is the nadir and you go from there. <clears throat> so what scores are you hoping? Well, I'm not, I don't know too much about radiation, but it went from 0.20 to 0.11 to 0.9 in about three weeks. I was probably in my head hoping for 0.02. And it was just the way the graph was going down. But... The more you look into radiation, the more you understand it. It's like going on a crash diet. You're going to lose five kilograms in the first week. 
And then week two, week three, week four, you're going to lose half a kilogram. And then week five or six, you barely lose something at all. So it's pretty much on the same thing. So today I had a meeting with Jenny Nodes at the Norfolk and Norwich Hospital. She's the consultant um, oncologist lady and very nice woman. Asked a few questions, how radiation worked. She was very happy with the result, which I was given from the NHS. But again, the NHS here in Norfolk only to due to one decimal place. And that one decimal place came back as undetected less than 0.1. Well, 0.1 is 0.10. And in Latvia five weeks ago, I was 0.09. So I knew I was going to be under that. But how much more under that? Again, the NHS one will only tell me one decimal place. She's happy. It's undetected. The machine they use don't go less than 0.1. And we are talking microscopic, very, very small pieces. So the private one I had done, which um, comes from a prostate charity foundation, cost me £27. They send me the vial and the local GP has agreed to um, do the blood test exactly the same time as the NHS one. They send the NHS one and I send off back to the lab, the private one. And that's come back at 0.07. So, <coughs> probably, uh, uh, you know, probably a little bit more than I expected. But we're not going to know until the next blood test, which will probably be October, a three-month test. Again, 0.07, it, it's the first, it, it, it plots a graph, don't it? You know, if it comes back, the next one, 0.06, and then three months' time in January, it comes back 0.05. Or 0.04 you can see the radiation is working you can see the um, <clears throat> scores going down until it reaches maybe or, or depends what what their, their their the machine is goes down to it might be 0.03 uh, Jenny notes the consultant said she thought it was 0.03 it's uh, the sensitive or the ultra sensitive doesn't go below 0.03 until you find something that goes to three decimal places, but um, I won't. I won't persist that. So at the minute, it's looking all good, but do remember, I sat here last year and had a title. This may be my last video about prostate cancer, and it was all upbeat that it was undetected. Personally, I thought uh, that was it, but until you start going into it and start um, understanding a bit more, that isn't just that easy so times are different this year <coughs> let's say the radiation has been done if it does start to creep up again um, I suppose the different route would be the ADT the androgen deprivation therapy uh, it's it's pretty much like a woman's HRT um, it's, it kills the testosterone or takes the testosterone down to a very, very, very low level. And then the testosterone can't feed the cancer. So I'm hoping at 53 years old, I'm not put on ADT. I'm hoping that this is the start. Um, it's been a long um, year after the operation, two years after I found it. It's been very long and it's been, it's been hard at times. And... Um, <coughs> And, you know, it'd be wrong to say it hasn't been hard, but uh, there's been many, many ups uh, and many, many lows. And the lows being told that um, it's on its way back, it's growing again, um, after thinking that it's gone. And the very, very highs have been probably the YouTube channel, to be honest. I now sit at 1,560 subscribers. And to each, every one of you who watches my uh, videos, I very, very much I want to say thank you. So that's kept me going. It's kept me positive. It's kept me thinking about my next video uh, <clears throat> while we're dealing with this. And everybody knows me, um, know that I like to dig a little bit deeper. Some people say, yeah, you're worrying too much. No, I'm not worrying too much. I just like to 
now. And I think with having this two decimal place test has got me somewhere where I probably wouldn't be without it. You know, as I said last year in my previous videos, a 0 13, 0 16, 0 19, that's only going one way. But if it's the NHS test, it would be 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1 until it reaches 0 20. That paints a different picture to that. So that may be one of the reasons why I got the radiation a little bit earlier, so I, could, I proved to them that it was going one way. I don't know. It may not be. But uh, <clears throat> I'm happy that I try to dig a little bit deeper. I asked a few questions today from Jenny. She's happy to, um, to, to talk about it. So what I'm going to do now is, you know, I haven't got a lot of content about the prostate for probably about another three months. I'm not going to have another test. I will have a double test in October. And then, and then we go from there. But what I'm going to do, as from next Monday, um, I think the body now deserves a little bit of a get back to normal. I'm not going to say I'm going to go on a diet. I don't, I don't agree with diets. I'm going to start doing a little bit more healthy living. And I must admit, in the last few months, probably got a little bit lazy a bit fatigue you know i like to walk in the even times of summer here it's still 29 degrees at uh, 6 p.m i like to go walking but in the last few months i just really haven't felt up to it you know you get in your chair and that's it for the evening and i think that's part of the process of um uh, getting back to where you you should be but <clears throat> as for monday we're going to eat more healthy a lot more fruit vegetables um, a lot more water and hopefully in the even times I'm not going to overexert myself uh, I'm going to do a mile, two miles, three miles you know I have cut down the amount of steps I do at work now to be honest because I just the last few weeks just, just can't do it and uh, you know hold my hands up I can't you know I'm out of breath just walking up three flights of stairs and, and that's what it is that's, you know you accept it so we're now going to get back, trying to get back. And I'm going to be very, very truthful with you. I'll show you exactly at the start what I weigh. You know, again, those who know me, I know I'm not. Um, I'm six foot tall or 180. And I'm probably 112 kilos. I did get down to 106 for my operation. And I want to try and set myself a target. And I'm going on holiday in October to Cyprus. It's the end part of... October so we've got August September October we've got three months and I'm not gonna go on a stupid 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 diet I want to probably lose I want to lose probably six kilograms two kilograms a month which is very 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 doable I know some of the stuff I eat now I shouldn't eat but it's probably comfort food you know, sitting in your chair it's comfort food we've all been there and we've all done it so you know I'm gonna give myself a target I want to be 106 kilos or lower time I go to Cyprus and uh, you know if it doesn't work it doesn't work but I'm gonna give it a go and I'm gonna flog on this channel and uh, tell you what I eat what uh, works for me and we go from there so it's just a, just an idea I want to keep the channel going I can also tell you when I'm doing my weekly vlogs how we're feeling again with the radiation so it's something that um, you know, it'll keep me motivated to try and do it, to try and come back here and say, yeah, I've now lost 1.5 kilos or whatever it is. So um, I can't guarantee nothing. You know, and I have these ideas and a lot of the time I don't stick to them, but uh, we'll, we'll give it a go. So again, it's good news. Again, um, 0 0.07 is very uh, minute, it's very microscopic. But again, I'm not going to get overexcited until we start seeing a few more results. Let's see the October PSA, let's see the January PSA and let's see, let's plot the graph. Hopefully by January the radiation will still be working and it'll be going down to 0 0.03, uh, somewhere in that um, in that uh, area. So it's good news and as Jenny said, it, it proves that 
the radiation was in the right area. Again, the PSMA scan didn't detect nothing because I was at the lowest, lowest of the where the reading can be. So they're guessing. They're guessing where the prostate comes out, which is that, and they zap that. So they're hoping that they have now cleaned it up. So yeah, it's good news. We can enjoy the summer. Um, again, I've got to be happy with 0.07. You say we're very um, going in the right direction. So diet starts next week. No more bounty bars, no more chips at work. It'll be blueberries and lemon juice and I don't know, we'll see. So we'll give you an update. I'll do an update after at the start, show exactly where I am weight wise, so probably about 112. And then we'll come back each week and, and go from there. So again, many thanks to everybody who subscribes to me. 1,560 is unbelievable. And again, all the money which we do raise goes to Durham Cancer Care. Uh, I'm now gonna give them another 100 pound uh, when I'm on holiday in a couple of weeks time. And they'll be grateful for that. And um, we just, you know, we're just accumulating just a little bit every day. It doesn't make any difference, does it? Um, so many thanks from around the world. Um, so many people have supported me again from America, from Malaysia, from New Zealand, from Canada. You know, I get so many good messages. So uh, and I say many thanks to all my friends in the UK. So I've waffled on enough now. It's now 16 and a half minutes. And um, thanks very much for watching. So we'll see you next time.